Hi everybody, this is Diane. I just have a small haul for you today from the flea market. Uh, I think the flea market will be winding down um, soon because it's after Labor Day, but it was a pretty pleasant day today, a nice breeze, uh, no rain. So there were quite a few vendors and I didn't find nearly as much as I found last week, which is a good thing, but I did find some things that you might be interested in. Uh, I just have three books, um, Anne of Green Gables, used to be cleaned up. It feels really dirty, but I like this front image. It's a newer book, and it's retold from Lucy Maud Montgomery. I would much rather read her text, but I like the cover. Um, why can't I find the date? 2005. Let me see if there's any pictures inside. drawings which are nice not a lot so that'll be fun and then this is a newer shorthand book than I've ever found usually they're older than this this is 1973 the, page, oops, the pages are different than other books and I think they're they'll be nice in a journal because they're not as fragile so it's uh, Greg's Shorthand for College. And then this one. <coughs> um, Mother Goose. Nineteen eighty four. But the pictures look more vintage. Aren't they just beautiful? The colors are so rich. This is a beautiful, beautiful book, and the pictures are so big. It's just a great Mother Goose book. And then I found this interdepartmental mail envelope, which I think these are so cool. This would, this They make a great cover for a journal. And it only had this one sticker on it, which would be easy to cover. So, yeah, I'm going to make a journal out of that. Um, I got three baby sheets just because they're just so cute. And I think they'll be really fun to use um, on the end papers, like the inside of a cover. So there's that cotton one, and then we have two flannel ones with these adorable little ducks. I probably wouldn't have given this a second look if I hadn't seen these ducks. And, uh, well, I have to have them. Sorry, that's spam. And then I, so I might as well throw that one in, too. Because so I got these from the Blue Van Man. These and this, which I haven't shown you yet. And this, and this, and this. And he gave me a good price for all of those items. Um, another textile is this apron. Isn't that interesting? It's got this ribbon as the tie, the waistband, and then it goes into a... Actually, the, the, the tie itself is just cotton, but the ribbon is the waistband. And then look at this ruffled piece right here. And the pocket and the ruffle at the bottom. It's not as old as other aprons that I've found, I'm pretty sure. So, I brought that home, and this was a really good buy, too. Four squarish quilted Christmas placemats. About 13. Yeah, they're square. 13 by 13. And of course they would make a wonderful journal cover. Maybe fold up a pocket. And there you could have a nice journal cover. So, if I keep one, I'll make a journal out of it. If not, they'll all go in my shop eventually. Don't start looking for them yet. 
um, I found another needle book and this author's card game, which is a miniature one. So they have the same pictures as the other author's games, but this is just a miniature version, which is really cute. I like things in miniature. And this trim, it looks like a bias tape. It's folded over on both ends, but it's got this printed, it's not embroidered, it's just printed, but it's so pretty, and you can tell it's vintage. And then this was an unusual find. This was in the bundle from the Blue Band Man. This is a cardstock large envelope, and I like, I can cut this up and use parts of it. And it is, uh, it holds x-rays. And it actually has x-rays in it. I didn't look at them. I just wanted the envelope. There's a bone. There's something that they put on the bone. I get squeamish about things, so... I didn't really want to look at those while I was there. But, uh, yeah. I thought this was really fun. So that's it. That's my entire haul. Now, I will be... I'm off, I'm off vacation now. Off vacation now. So I'm looking forward to getting started on a project. And I am also looking forward to sorting through all of the things that I bought at the uh, Labor Day uh, flea market. And I'm going to be listing some things hopefully this week. Um, maybe not from that flea market from last week, but I had some things from previously that I hadn't listed yet. So what I sorted last night was a bunch of sewing supplies. So needle books and wrappers from Rick Rack and Seam Binding and stuff. And uh, I can't even remember what else is in there, but oh, some button cards. Anyway, I've got them sorted, so hopefully I'll get them listed um, pretty soon, in a day or two. And I've got more things to list, so just keep watching. I'm going to be busy putting, putting things in my shop, as well as working on some journal projects. I had a good vacation. Um, didn't turn out quite the way I thought, but it was okay. I, you know, I had some fun with my family and at the flea market and I got some rest and still did some things just didn't work on a journal but now I'm anxious to start going on another journal so I will see you soon and I hope you'll come back to see what I'll be cooking up next have a creative day today bye bye